Okay, so now we're gonna talk about Tableau maps. First, let's get the data in order to plot the maps. So let's go and create a third data source. I am at the data source page. Let's go over here in this small icon, new data source. And then let's go to the text file and then to the data that we downloaded. So let's go to the big folder and then we have over here USA sales. So let's select this CSV file and click open. So it's really simple table where we have the orders, country, region, state and sales. So that's it. Let's go back to our view and let's create now a very basic map in Tableau. So again, we can go and cheat using the show me, but we're going to go and create it from scratch. So now if you have a look to our data bin, you can find that we have two automatically generated fields, the latitude and the longitude. They are geographical coordinates in order to plot the map, the earth. So the latitude is responsible to plot the horizontal lines and the longitude is responsible to plot the vertical lines. So what you can do, we're going to go and use them to the columns. Let's take the longitude to the columns and the latitude to the rows. So with that, you can see that Tableau is now able to plot the earth. And now next we have to specify for Tableau, the country, the states, those geographical informations. So let's take, for example, the country to the details. And with that, you can see that Tableau is now focusing only on the United States because we have only informations about USA. So now let's take the states as well and put it to the details. And now, as you can see, Tableau is focusing now with those points on each state. All right. So now the next step, instead of having circles, I would like to have a map chart so let's go to the marks switch it from automatic to map and with that we have the whole area covered with the colors so now you can go and add coloring depend on the dimension that you want so for example we can go to the region over here and put it to the colors so now we can see that the map is now splitted by the regions so now what is missing here is the sales informations so let's go and get the sales but here we have small problem that the sales is a dimension and discrete because of the data type so let's go and switch it to a number hole and then make it continuous so convert to continuous and then the last thing we have to convert it as well to a measure because it's still as a dimension so everything is fine let's go and get the sales to the labels and with that we got very nicely the total sales for each state so this is how you can create a very basic map in tableau Okay, moving on to the next one, we can create maps in Tableau with symbols. So I just duplicated the previous one. Let's go and switch the visual from map to, for example, circles. And then the size of the circle going to be decided from the sales. So let's take the sales and put it to the size. And then the next step, let's go and make the circles a little bit bigger. And now we can add another measure to the circles. Let's say the number of orders we're going to take over here, the count of the USA sales CSV. So let's take it to the colors. So now the scale of the color is going to define the number of orders and the size of the circle is going to be defined from the sales. So this is one way in how to represent those informations as the circles or bubbles. We can go and choose different shapes. So let's go over here in the marks and go to the shapes. You can go, for example, with, let's say, what we can have over here. Let's go with the stars. So as you can see, we have here a lot of options on which symbol can be presented inside our map. So this is how you can add symbols to the map in Tableau. Alright guys, maps in Tableau are very rich in the customizations. There are a lot of options on how to plot the maps in the view. So now I'm going to show you a few possibilities on how to plot the maps in Tableau. The first one is about how to have a map without any background noises. So now let's go and do that. If you take the country field and just drop it here in the middle, Tableau is going to understand we are talking about map and we're going to get automatically everything inside the columns and the rows. So now the next step, let's take as usual the states over here and then we're going to go and color it with the region of the colors so now if you check the map you can see there are a lot of grayed out areas inside the map that is not used directly so if you want to remove all those informations what we're going to do we're going to go to the main menu you have here maps options and then here we have a background layers let's go and click on that and then here on the left side we will get many options on how to customize the maps i really recommend you to go and click around it's really fun to work with maps in tableau so now the task is to remove all those background informations. What we're going to do, we will just remove all those selected informations. So let's just remove everything. And with that, as you can see, we have removed the background and we have only the relevant informations inside our view. 
And there is another way on how to remove the background. Let me just go back with all those settings. So I think with that, we got all informations back. Another way to remove the background information is to go to the washout and move it from 0 to 100. So now, as you can see, the background inside our map did disappear. So this is how we can remove the background information inside our map. And you get really a clean map in order to focus on the relevant data. Okay, the next one is as well about customizing the maps in Tableau. So now let's go and create a night vision map. It is just fun to work with maps in Tableau. So let's go again and get the countries in the middle, the states to the details. So now in Tableau, we have different types of maps, not only one. So if you go to the main menu over here to the maps, either you check the background map. So here we have the different modes. Or if you go again to the background layers, and on the left side, you can see here the styles. So currently it is white and gray, it's light. So if you click over here, you can find the different models. We have the normal one, and then we have stuff like dark, street, outdoors, and satellite informations. So it's really nice to have different styles. What we're gonna do now, since it's night vision, we're gonna go with the dark modes. So now the next thing I would like to reduce some informations like United States and Mexico. Let's go and remove those stuff from the left side. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and add some measure to our view. So let's close the background layers over here. Let's go and get the sails to the size. So with that, we are getting those nice circles. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And then we can add the sails as well to so the colors. So hold control, put it on the colors and let's change the coloring. So let's go and edit colors. And now let's go to the automatic over here and let's change it to another pattern. For example, let's take the blue green over here click OK. OK, so now we're going to go and add more customizations to our map. For example, let's say that I would like to change the color of the borders for those states. So I would like to make it red in order to make it more interesting. I cannot do that in the current view because if I change anything about the border, it's going to change the border of the circles and not the border of the states. So in order to do that, we need two maps, one for the circles and one for the states. All right, so now let's see how we can do that. We're going to go to the longitude and we're going to go and duplicate it. So now with that, we got two maps, the left and the right. Let's go and configure the right one. So let's switch the marks to the second map. And now instead of having circles, we want to have a map. So let's switch it to a map. So now, as you can see, now we have two different types of maps, but now I would like to have only the border information. So I'm not interested about the sales. So let's go and remove it and as well for the sizing. And now, as you can see, we have gray colors that is filling the map. So let's go to the colors and reduce the opacity to 0%. So that we don't have any colors on the map, what do we need is the color of the border. So let's go again to the colors. Let's go to the borders over here. Let's make it red. I'm not really happy with this color. I want it to be more red. So let's go to more colors and let's get the re red. And now the question is how to merge those two maps in one map? Well, the answer for that using the dual axis again. So let's go to the right one over here right click on it and dual access all right so with that we got one map but i'm still not that happy you can see that the circles are behind the lines in order to have it in the front let's go and switch those two measures and now you can see that the circles are in the front all right so with that we have created our night vision map and with that you have learned as well how many possibilities that we have in tableau in order to customize the maps all those different options that we have inside the maps, I really recommend you to go and explore those options that we have inside Tableau. It's really fun. 